This is part three on how to modify the LG View using Microsoft Windows XP Professional or Home Edition. If you're using Vista or a Mac, please look in the sidebar for a link to a tutorial just like this one for your operating system. Okay, now we left off downloading some things in part two. Now, what you need to do is come back to your internet browser go to lg-view.com, make sure that you're signed in and on the home page. <clears throat> okay, now the next thing that we need to actually get is a program called LGMDP. And let me go back there because I didn't explain what to do. Okay, come down to the user guides and reference and you'll see additional help and assistance here. Click on that and you'll see the very top sticky post. Uh, it's got an LG View recently. How to connect the software for V10's December 12th View. Okay, now as I said in part one, there are several different firmware versions for the View. And if you don't know which one you have, just follow these yellow words. This is how to determine if you have the V10's December 12th. Okay, you go to the menu. Then you click on settings, okay, which is the fourth tab down. You tap more, tap headset information, and scroll down till you see what it says for your software version. Now there you will see it will either say V10's December 12th, or it will say something like V10's February something or March something. Download this LG MDP only if you have the V10's December 12th. If you have any other dates listed in that uh, headset information, you do not need to worry about um, about downloading this program. And I will tell you why in, in later episodes. It's just a simple step, an extra step that people who have V10's December 12th need to take. Uh, so if you have any other version, don't worry about the following step. Okay, so you can download the, you can click on that the LG 3G mobile download program and it's going to pop up a little box here and you want to click save file. It's a very very uh, whoa sorry about that. It's, it goes very quickly for the download and you can close that box uh, and you can minimize your window to make sure that it actually appeared on your desktop uh, and we'll see it actually right there. So let's line that up in our lineup of icons uh, that we're going to need. AT&T users, users will recognize that as it is the AT&T logo. Okay, now let's come back to lgview.com uh, LG and uh, go to the home page. Make sure that you're signed in. And what you want to do now is you need to search. So come up to the search bar. You'll see it in the very top right-hand corner of this site. And you want to type in Extended Interface Package. Okay, now 0.5 is the current uh, Extended Interface Package. Uh, and it's a little bit simpler to use than other uh, versions of the Extended Interface Package. You will see here that is listed in Hacks, but you'll see the Extended Interface Package version 0.5. Okay, so you can select that. And it's going to uh, actually give you a bunch of information about it. And you come down to the very bottom of the very first post there. And you're going to see a little bitty orange uh, link here that when you hover over it's going to turn white. It's ext dot interface pkg version 0 0.5 zip. Okay, so you need to click that. And it's going to pop up a little box. Make sure that you have save file there and click OK. And it's going to uh, download the file. I think it's actually the largest download that you'll be using. OK, now you can minimize that window and come over to your desktop. And there you go. So let's recap. Uh, really quickly. We have WinRAR, uh, which is an unpacking wizard. We have the LG USB modem driver. We have the uh, EFS tool. We have LGM, 
LG MTP for V10s December 12th only. And we have the extended interface package version 0 0.5. Okay, now in the very next episode, we're going to uh, connect the phone to the PC. So I need you to do a few things to get the phone ready. Number one, make sure that you are in the Onyx theme. You can go into your display settings and set the Onyx theme as your uh, current theme because you'll need to be in the Onyx theme. You will also need to disable your wallpapers. So turn the wallpapers off. You can also do that in your display settings. And the third and final step to prepare the phone for connection is to make sure that your shortcut menus are turned on. So you will be in the Onyx theme, you will not have a wallpaper, and your short shortcut menus will be on. Okay, so grab your data cable and your LG view, and let's get ready to connect to the PC.